tell me about what are the some uh, some of the common fraud tactics and schemes that Shopify merchants or online merchants in general general face today? Sure, I think the biggest uh, right now is still payment fraud. Um, so it's nothing but getting access to someone's uh, card information or banking information and using that to make a purchase, right? So that's the biggest, I would still say that's the biggest uh, cause of payment fraud. Uh, and it's very easy to get stolen credit cards these days, right? So dark web uh, people, fraudsters go on dark web, buy a bunch of stolen credit cards. Uh, they do card testing. They try to test those cards on different platforms. They automate the whole the whole thing. Uh, they're very sophisticated. Uh, so when you're thinking about Froster, they're sophisticated. They have all the tools and platforms uh, to do this, right? So payment card has has been uh, the biggest issue in the industry uh, where stolen credit cards are being used to make purchases, right? So that's one type of fraud. The other would be account takeover, right? Stolen credentials. So you get access to someone's username and password. Um, you log into the account, you make purchases using safe credit cards, safe PII data, uh, and then you bypass security, right? You go ahead and make um, buy an item, ship it to your address, use someone else's credit, someone else's payment instrument and details, uh, and you, uh, that leads to a chargeback as well. Uh, and I think right now uh, it's got a, a lot more sophisticated where uh, synthetic ID has come into place, right? So. It's stitching different pieces of legitimate information and creating a, a good synthetic ID where it becomes difficult for uh, fraud prevention solutions to detect this information. So that's why I think it gets becomes critical to use uh, fraud prevention tools and up-to-date fraud prevention tools and technologies to deter and detect this fraud. Mm -hmm. Now, collecting customer data um, is a standard practice. Personalization is a big topic everywhere. Yeah. Everyone should have a personalized um, customer experience on your online store. However, you as a business, you as a merchant, you carry the responsibility of protecting the data. What are the key challenges in balancing fraud protection with a smooth customer experience when it comes to personalization in your online store? Yeah, so, so the way our product plays in, there are two parts to this. So the customer facing feature is the passwordless login, right? Mm -hmm. so that's where a, a customer interacting with the merchant engages uh, engages with the merchant's website. The other part is an order risk verification where there is no customer interaction at all. It's completely transparent. When, as soon as an order is placed on a Shopify website, uh, DRiskify automatically you know, gets the order, order details and immediately does a real time scoring of the different risk aspects about the customer, about the order, the different uh, pieces of information that are available in the order that's placed by the customer, right? So from, from uh, you know protecting a, a customer's uh, data, obviously as a merchant, you want to collect as little information as possible, but you also want to be careful that when somebody creates an account for the very first time, Right, and depending on the the value of the goods that you typically sell on your store, do you want to make sure that you will let anybody with an email create an account, or do you want to do a little bit more of a verification before that account is created? Right. So uh, it's a fine balance that depends on the type of merchant you are. For higher value goods, where you potentially require a login to place an order. You do want to do a little bit of verification. You can collect some information, make sure that person who's creating the account is authentic.